Hi, I'm Lannan Thacko with Spartan Controls, and today I'll be showing you how we install a Fisher 657 actuator onto a Fisher sliding stem valve. To begin, you're going to want to prepare your valve and actuator. For the valve, this includes removing your yoke lock nut, installing your stem nuts, and indicator disc. On our actuator, we'll need to install our nameplate, remove our stem coupler block, and check our bench set. When checking your actuator's bench set, the first thing you want to do is check the nameplate for the proper set. In this case, it's 6 to 22 PSI. Once you know your bench set, you can attach your regulated air supply, and then holding your finger against the stem and adjust your nut, slowly increase your air pressure until you feel your stem start to move. The pressure at which your actuator stem starts to move signifies your actuator's lower bench set. If it starts to move too early or too late, you'll have to adjust your adjuster nut here to achieve proper bench set. With your valve and actuator prepared, you're going to want to install your yoke lock nut and then carefully raise and lower your actuator onto your valve. With your actuator on the valve, you'll snug down your yoke lock nut, line up the actuator with the valve, and then tighten down your yoke lock nut using a hammer and chisel. With your actuator now fully secured to your valve, you're gonna fully seat it by prying up on the stem and pushing down and seating it completely. The next step will be to line up your indicator disc with your travel scale. And then prying up on the stem, moving your valve to its full rated travel position. With your valve moved up to its full travel, you can move your stem nuts out of the way and install your stem coupling block. With your coupling block fully tightened, you can now tighten your stem nuts up to your coupling block. With your stem nuts fully tightened, you'll line up your travel scale. and then check proper travel by applying a regulated air supply. And that concludes our overview on how to mount a Fisher 657 actuator onto a Fisher sliding stem valve. Thanks for watching.